don't know if there's other questions. I know, Nadine, you had some stuff. I have a question. Does yes. the Columbia County pistol license on the back say not valid in New York City? No. It doesn't. Because so. the Duchess does. does and no. we're going to have yeah, a meeting. Not valid. Does it? It does say it? I don't know. I'm going to look. Because okay. sure. that, in, in the Bruin case, that was the Supreme Court decided that their rules down there are unconstitutional. Yes. So that part should come off. Now, my question is when, is when are the sheriff's offices going to take that part off? Well, the sheriff's, That's my question. the sheriff's office don't uh, determine what's on your fifth permit. Who does? So there, there's, a, there's a little bit of, of a difference going on with different yeah. sheriff's offices throughout the state. So we had a meeting uh, at the Prairieville Rodney Gun Club last week. I think it was nine, right? Yes. And there's a lot of folks from Dutchess County. Uh, now, the Sheriff's Office of Dutchess County has a pistol unit there that issues pistol permits, does all the, uh, the background investigation, so on and so forth, and are duly um, authorized by the issuing officer, which is the judge, to be able to do this. In Columbia County, we do not do that. The issuing officer is the judge. The, the county clerk issues the pistol permit. Um, so the Sheriff's Office has very little to do with the pistol permits here in New York, or in Columbia County other than the application process. So the clerk can do that? Um, the clerk can if authorized by the... Well, the Supreme the Court authorized it. They decided that the pistol rules in New York City are unconstitutional. So well, if we're going to follow the Constitution, then let's enforce the Constitution. Well, so and not beat around the bush. So we brought ADA Brian Carter, who's actually an attorney, who can maybe speak to that. It does say that. So... On the back of the license. Importantly, while yes, I am an attorney, um, I cannot give anyone legal advice. It's just based upon where I work, my job, I can't do that. What I can tell you is, is that although the Bruin case, which was decided by the U.S. Supreme Court, which determined that the uh, New York State gun pistol permit laws were unconstitutional, after that decision, the New York legislature passed all of the new gun laws, which then completely reformed and changed the pistol permit status that we all know and what we've been experiencing for years. And now it is drastically different um, and more restrictive than what it was before. So under the circumstances, while the Supreme Court ruled that the uh, previously enacted pistol permit requirements and concealed carry requirements, the, those restrictions were unconstitutional. The new laws that have been enacted have not had such uh, a case brought before the Supreme Court. So there is no decision saying that the current enacted laws that were just passed back in September are unconstitutional. So you would need to- I'm not referring to that. I'm referring to the pistol license where it says not valid in New York City. So, but what Ryan's saying though is because of the new state laws, it didn't carve out New York City as different than the rest of New York so State. So, what case are you referring to that challenges the Bruin decision in July? There's no case, but what I'm saying, law. sir, is that the new laws that were enacted yeah. are all presumptively valid until they are challenged. They have yet to be challenged. I know there's Success. some But successfully. the new cases do not talk about the pistol license. They talk about the gun-free zones mm -hmm. and the FFLs. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to do with the pistol license. If they do, please quote the case number, the docket number, and what court and what they're challenging because we haven't been able to find it. We're, in, we're part of Gun Owners of America, New York, and we haven't been able to find that. So we want the Constitution enforced. The Supreme Court decided it, that's what we want. Okay. Well, I guess the other thing I would say is what's on the back of the department determined by me, it's determined by the licensing officer, so. And the state police, and they haven't said that we could change it yet, so. But your question's duly noted.